Hello, my name is Janak Totakura and I am a developer on the Image Acquisition Toolbox team at MathWorks. In this video, we are going to take a look at a new application called Image Acquisition Explorer. This app ships with the Image Acquisition Toolbox starting in the R2022 A release of MATLAB. You can launch this app from the App section of the MATLAB tool strip under the Image Processing and Computer Vision area. The Image Acquisition Explorer app allows you to explore, configure and acquire image data from cameras and frame grabbers. After launching the Image Acquisition Explorer app, you can view all the available cameras on the app's launch page. In this example, we are selecting a FLIR AX5 thermal camera. After selecting the device, the app connects to the camera and displays a live preview by default. Notice that the device is currently streaming with a mono 8 video format and is acquiring intensity images. For this, the app uses grayscale as the default color space and gray as the default color map. Since we are working with a thermal camera, different gray levels in this grayscale image represent different temperatures. Higher pixel values represent warmer regions and the lower pixel values represent cooler regions in the image. This is visualized in the color bar to the right of the image. By default, the color map limits are set to auto with an, with an option to customize the limits. And the default color map for the grayscale data is gray, but you can colorize the image by choosing a different color map that best suits your application. And if you see the panel to the right hand side, the region of intersection shows the current width and height settings on the image and also allows for adjusting the ROI. To make an ROI selection, first click on Select ROI. Then you can simply make a selection interactively by using the mouse on Preview or you can enter the exact pixel values in these widgets and click Apply. For now, I am exiting the ROI selection mode by clicking the Cancel button. The section below is the Device Properties section where you can view and configure camera specific properties. Let's move to the App's tool strip to look at the workflows for acquiring image or video from this camera device. As a first step, specify where to save the acquired data. You can log the data to the MATLAB workspace by default or log data to a file on disk. For logging to file, you can specify a file name on the tool strip and set file location and other configuration settings from the configure icon. In this demo, I am saving the image as .jpg and leaving the file configuration settings to its default. Now we are ready to capture a snapshot by clicking on the capture button. This captures an image snapshot and saves it to file. Let's look in the file directory. Now to record a video, let's switch to log data to MATLAB workspace. In the record section, there are four workflows for recording video in the app. You can record a finite number of frames or you can specify a finite duration for recording by selecting the time in seconds to record or you can record continuously until recording is stopped manually. You can record from a hardware trigger. The hardware trigger option is enabled in the app's tool strip only if the device supports hardware trigger acquisition. When selected, a panel appears on the right where you can configure device trigger properties. For this example, let's acquire finite frames by selecting the option on the tool strip and by pressing the record button. When the recording is complete, the app saves data to the MATLAB workspace. Let's look at the other features in the app. The app allows launching other MATLAB apps to visualize and analyze the acquired data. For example, by clicking on the video viewer, the app gets launched with the last recorded video data. We also allow generating MATLAB code that is representative of what the app did for acquiring snapshot and record. By clicking the generate snapshot script option, a MATLAB editor opens and displays the code for capturing a snapshot. 
Check out more about this app in the image acquisition toolbox documentation. We are excited to bring this new application to you and look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you.